Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this video on essential oils, which leads me into the day. I have had one long ass day, and uh, essential oils have a lot of uses. In fact, uh, someone had mentioned earlier, I believe it was Isabel, um, you know, what other good uses? Well, I can start out immediately with one I just got done using, clove bud oil. You can still smell it all over my hands. If you're not a clove person, that sucks. Clove bud oil is great for killing tooth pain. And if you put it on a Q-tip and put it up in the roof of your mouth, it will kill a headache, even a migraine. It will cut it down um, by what I would call probably 20 to 40%. And uh, hey, if you have a migraine, you're just welcoming any kind of you know relief from it, right? So I was using clove bud oil for ants. It actually throws off their pheromone trail. So they no longer want to be in the area. It melts their exoskeleton. And um, that's what I was using it for. I found a trail of ants uh, coming inside the mud room. So I got out on the roof where I found them coming in and went ahead and put it down. And it's always funny to watch them. In fact, I'll try to get a video or do a short next time I find some and I'll go ahead and just record it because it's stunning how fast the results are. I mean, they scatter, they freak out. Uh, and whenever it touches them, they start to melt. It literally will just break them into pieces. So before we get into the dog oils, I'll throw in a couple other great uses, um, like with mosquitoes. I never get bitten by mosquitoes, and there's a reason for that. I use eucalyptus or and or citriodora, which is lemon eucalyptus. It's not using two different oils. It's actually lemon eucalyptus citriodora. <clears throat> and um, stuff like that. Now, I put them on the bottom of my feet, okay, because um, with, um, have my head's, my brain's a little slow today. With reflexology and those kind of things, it's the best way to get it into your bloodstream, okay? So once you have something like that in your bloodstream, uh, you are repelling them. So once the mosquito even comes close to me and tries to sting me, um, or bite me, excuse me, um, it will change its mind. So since the season had started and they'd been around, I have only been bitten twice where most people are like covered in bites. So one got me on the face the other day. I was complaining about it on one of my videos, um, but it rarely happens. And um, to be honest, I hadn't put any oils in the bottom of my feet for a while, so I blame myself. Um, also, having it in your bloodstream and any of these oils I list off here about dogs, will also repel them from wanting to be close to you and wanting to lick you because it's literally coming out of your pores and they can smell it, right? So a little bit of, um, you know, FYI on essential oils. I'm a big essential oil person. Now I'm going to tell you about some oils and I already knew some of these, but as I was researching, I learned a few more things. There are two oils in specific um, that are poisonous to mammals, okay? Pennyroyal and Citronella, and um, they'll both kill dogs. Do with that what you will. But those those will poison a dog. So if that's what you're looking for, you have to remember, humans can poison themselves with Pennyroyal, okay? And people have been known to use it to actually do at-home abortions. Pretty wild, but it's a fact. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Uh, if you use too much of it, can abort your damn self. So, <laughs> you know, people have really hurt themselves using it. So, those are both poisonous to animals. Essential oils that dogs hate and it will deter and repel them. And I would suggest putting these into little spray bottles as like your own perfume, right? Or you do a larger spray bottle and you can spray that on yourself too. It's safe, but all around anything you want them to stay away from. I am pretty well known for putting it all around the yard, all along the fence lining. Um, I had a war with those dogs in the desert that wouldn't stop showing up. Apple cider vinegar is another one, so that you mix apple cider vinegar with one of these deterrent oils. And to them, that the apple cider is almost in a sense like a marking, so you're like marking territory, and uh, it will start to drive them away. I have, and I've got to throw in a disclaimer, there were some dogs out in the desert that took it like a personal challenge and started to show up and do more fuck shit. 
um, until we had the whole incident where I had to kill the one dog with the axe. So, <laughs> enough story on another, on another video, so we won't go into that. <clears throat> Here are the oils, and then I will give you some recipes, okay? And these are so useful, especially for the unfortunate individuals that have to live with someone that has dogs, and they're getting near your stuff, or climbing on your bed if you leave your door open, or you just don't want them coming up and licking you, which you have to live with them. These are great things to use. Any citrus oil, and this includes wonderful scents like bergamot. Uh, if you don't know the oil and you like the smell of citrus, I highly suggest trying it, it's great. Lemon and lime, okay, so you cover your citruses there. You have things like cinnamon, okay? So this is cinnamon oil, which is actually highly concentrated, but if you're looking to make them sneeze and they sniff around, say you don't want them sniffing around your bed or your couch, cayenne pepper with cinnamon, so the powder, both of them, not the essential oil, you can't use the essential oil, but I'm just saying, like for the sniffing, and you mix the two of them together in a shaker jar and put it all around, and when they go to sniff, man, they will be sneezing and they will never go near that area again. Um, they may be stupid as fuck, but they will remember some of these kind of things, okay? So just, just there's something else to help you. Mint, so any type of mint oil, peppermint, spearmint, um, and they have chocolate mint. Um, hey, chocolate and mint, dogs, right? All right. Cayenne oil or powdered chilies, okay? So this is like um, any kind of chili powder. Did you wanna use fresh chili? Um, I don't know how many of you actually grow them, but you know, or you cut into them, you'll notice that they spray off like, you know, a lot of liquid, a lot of oils. You can dry the seeds and crush them up and use them, anything like that, you know, and it's not going to hurt you. It will definitely repel them. Mustard oil, not so common. Not many people even have that kind of stuff or have access to it, but they despise it, you know. Now, vinegar and apple cider vinegar, eucalyptus. Now, here's a little recipe and a couple great ideas. Like I said, you wanna start deterring these things from coming near you and even wanting to smell you or lick you, start putting any of those oils on the bottom of your feet. Pick yours, like someone asked if they smelled bad earlier. Well, it's all about what smells you like. If you hate clove bud oil, it's not on the list here and I don't think it really does much for dogs. But like if you hated like clove bud oil, then use eucalyptus. If you don't like eucalyptus, try a citrus oil, a lemon lime, a bergamot, you know, there, there are options so you find something that you like, all right? Unfortunately, things like tea tree oil that are really common with people don't really seem to do much with dogs and it's commonly in their shampoos and stuff. So is citrus, but this is all because that they have flea repelling properties and that's why people use them. Here's a recipe for you. You take and chop up a bunch of onions and you take some chili powder, so it's like cayenne pepper or any kind of chili powder you happen to have, and garlic, okay? So I'm really, for this recipe, I would do chopped onions, chopped real chilies, like do some like hot ones, like jalapenos and chopped real garlic, a teaspoon of dish soap and a quart of water. Then you let it steep all night long, right? At least 24 hours, all right? Then you strain it, all right? Put the liquid that you strained out into a spray bottle. You can use that to spray around your campsite, your house, um, your garden. You know, you got neighbors' dogs coming over and pissing and stuff like that. It's great, okay? And um, once again, you know, like I said, do with it what you will. Citronella is also on this list. Um, it's poisonous to them. So say you have like a neighbor's dog that keeps eating your plants and you can't seem to stop them, well, there are ways. <laughs> so keep, once you strain this and you've got the liquid in the bottle, keep all of the stuff that you strained out, the chilies and the garlic and the onions, and you spread that around whatever you're deterring them from as well, right? And that will help repel them and keep them away. A um, couple suggestions. Now, I'm an apothecary grade person. By that, I mean I use apothecary grade oils that are pretty expensive, okay? So 
to be using this to like deter critters like for example when I did the ants today um, I didn't use my apothecary grade oil I used um, a company called now and they make pretty cheap stuff and if you're looking to use that for a medicinal it's 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 not useful for a human if you're saying like oh vetiver oil controls seizures well don't get cheap vetiver oil if you're trying to control seizures right get get the apothecary grade the really high grade but if we're talking like to get rid of ants you know you can use the cheaper uh, essential oils I have also gotten miracle Grow sprayers and put the oil in the miracle Grow sprayer sprayer add a little bit of vinegar you know a tablespoon or so and fill the rest with water and then sprayed all along my property line and you will literally see insects dogs what have you walk up to hi go over there I'll be with you in a minute thank you you will literally see whatever it is come up to the line and change its mind like and I was spraying it all over my deck yesterday because ants were coming and they just like all start spazzing out and they run the other way um, highly impressive very useful stuff my choice for essential oils for apothecary grade is mountain rose herbs they have great bulk deals um, but once again like I said if you're just looking for an oil for the smell and for the deterrent and you want to save money and you don't want to get ridiculous get now essential oils don't fall for stuff like doTERRA look if you guys are fans of them I'm sorry but I'm kind of an anti-government person too and anything that's doTERRA is the only oil FDA approved okay so that's got to tell you something about how much lobbying and money they've spent and personally as someone who has used a lot of oils they are no better than a company like or Acacia or uh, Mountain Rose Herbs or Snow Lotus another great company I think Snow Lotus is even better than Mountain Rose Herbs it's just they're super super expensive so you know pick and choose pick and choose um, so I'll leave you guys with that um, information cool thing about essential oils as I said in the beginning is they're good for like everything so you know it's not just that you're buying just essential oils for repelling dogs you can use it for all kinds of things so it's fantastic like I said the teeth the headaches vetiver oil is good for epilepsy and control seizures okay tea tree oil repels centipedes all right and for scorpions you want cedarwood oil and man I'm telling you if you try this stuff you will be amazed at the results and how quickly and, and effective it is and it's just it's great and you don't have to pay pest control people a lot of people don't know this uh, but having your house sprayed does nothing for um, centipedes or scorpions they don't drag their bellies they walk up high you know pulled in the only thing that poisons are going to affect are critters that drag which is why it's so effective on cockroaches because they drag themselves and their abdomen and their center abdomen is being drug across the poison and it goes right into their system for things like scorpions and centipedes if they walking up on oh wait a minute got my guy ha look it's useful again they're walking up like this and so their bodies are not coming in contact with any of that poison my adoptive father is a pest control man and before he ever he and I ever talked about this I actually had a pest control worker be completely honest with me when I called them out to my house for an influx of scorpions and centipedes and if you've ever had one of them big old blue and red centipedes in your house I mean you know it's uh, you want them out you know and I'm not afraid of anything it's just I've got a kid and for anybody also doesn't know centipedes even have um, venom in their legs so if they even like walk across you while you're sleeping that's not gonna kill you but it will like leave some marks and some welts now disclaimer on the not gonna kill you thing it's not gonna kill you if you're not allergic to it okay like if you're allergic to centipedes or scorpions and you get stung it's a serious issue this also applies to I know we have a lot of kitty cat people that's okay I'm not here to judge anybody all right but just so you guys want to know if your cat is allergic to centipedes and scorpions and it gets into a tangle with one it will die other than that cats can actually eat scorpions and centipedes it's one of the reasons I always liked having a barn cat around you'll see the numbers drop but to be completely honest if you're gonna have any critter to help control pests a chicken chickens make eggs 
they will literally eat all your centipedes and scorpions and turn them into breakfast, right? So there's a little something to think about. Hey, I need you to wait. Go sit down. My son wants me to play Godzilla with him. <laughs> but it's almost bedtime, so he's actually just kind of juking bedtime. So there you go, guys. I wanted to help and uh, give you that information. Uh, if you have any other questions about these kinds of things, I'd be glad to help. Um, from the bottom of my dog hating heart, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, every time I see a message from you guys or a comment, it definitely makes me smile. I have found a few pages I've been going to. There's the Dog Delusion on Facebook, and then there's also the um, Dogs Are a Menace, okay? Both of these pages are great. The admins are very friendly. They even allowed me to uh, post about my page and um, met a lot of good people there. And I'm really shocked at how things have gone with the Facebook stuff. So many, especially women, but so many people like that are stepping forward and going like, yeah, dogs are freaking terrible and I'm glad you're saying something. So I've been slowly adjusting people and letting them see how I'm about to change things up and putting up posts and letting people know how I really feel, you know, tell me how you really feel, you know, so it's going well, but it's interesting. So hmm. smelling something, I think maybe one of my neighbors are barbecuing, but since I'm shutting down the video anyways, I'll go make sure it's nothing serious. Thank you everyone so much. Appreciate you guys for me and my funky hair clamp my son and and my home we appreciate you guys stay safe keep your weapons close get yourself some steel toe boots right and we will see you tomorrow